Shifting board is longitudinal division, which is grain tight, fitted to restrict grain shift. For filled compartments, they must extend downwards from the underside of the deck or hatch covers to a distance below the deck line of at least one eighth the breadth of the compartment. For partly filled compartment, the fitting should extend both above and below the level grain to a distance of one eighth the breadth of the compartment. For a filled compartment, bundling is done to prevent shifting of the grain during voyage. A bundle of similar bulk cargo is made by lining a saucer with tarpaulin or similar materials with suitable means of securing. A thwartship lashings to be placed inside the saucer formed in the bulk grain. Dunnage has to be placed over these lashings to prevent the cutting or chafing of the material. The saucer is then filled with bulk grain and secured at the top. Further dunnage has to be laid on top before the saucer is secured by setting up the lashings. The top of the saucer should be made level with the bottom of the beams when these are in place and suitable general cargo or bulk grain may be placed between the beams on top of the saucer. Overstowing is also done for partly filled compartments. That is, the top of space is filled by bagged grain or other suitable cargo. The surface is leveled off with separation cover or wooden boards. Saucering is used only for a filled compartment. The top of the saucer is formed by the underdeck structure in the way of the hatchway. The saucer and hatchway above is completely filled with bagged grain or other suitable cargo laid down on the separation cloth and stowed tightly against adjacent structures and the hatch beams. Strapping and lashing is done for a partly filled compartment. The surface of the grain is leveled and slightly crowned. It is then covered with separation cloths or tarpaulins. On top of this, two solid floors lumber has to be laid. The first tier is laid in athwart ship and the second tier in the fore and aft directions. These floors are lashed down with double steel strapping attached to shackle or beam below the final grain surface. These lashings are tightened. The lashings and their tension must be checked and adjusted regularly during the voyage.